Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 81. We're now into the 80s in this first batch of recordings for Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Open Morrowind, I'm sorry. Modded. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check this out with me. I have some good news. I think I may have fixed the issue with uh, my laptop. Fingers crossed, we're gonna try maybe to go 25 minutes in a row and then maybe in there rather than 20. But anyway, here we are. We're in the Balmora Temple. Hopefully, you know everything goes smoothly. We'll see. I've been working on it, guys. I've been working. Seems like if it's not one thing, it's another, but it is still all good. Now, I don't know if we ever talked to everyone in here, but we may have. Here we have a Shrine of the Tribunal. Hello. Welcome, my child. Do you seek to join the temple? Advancement? You are not a member. Do you wish to join? Training? Faction members only, High Elf. What do you say of the ghost fence? Nothing can pass through the ghost fence except at Ghost Gate. Ghost Gate is guarded by ordinators and buoyant armagers. At the Tower of Dawn and the Tower of Dusk. What are your requirements? The temple admires those who have the personality to lead others and the will to resist the world's temptations. When it cannot be avoided, we fight with staves and hammers, armored only in our faith. We study restoration and alchemy to heal the people and mysticism to learn more of the divine. We must also study conjuration to speak with the spirits of our ancestors and protect against those who traffic with the Four Corners. Hmm, rules? Your fourfold duties are to faith, family, masters, and all that is good. Perform holy quests and bring luster to the temple. Never transgress against your brothers or sisters, in thought or deed, as we are all one body. Your trade? I am a monk in mind and spirit. I am a student of the hidden mysteries of the unseen world that lies behind the objects and ideas of everyday life. In body, I am a student of the ancient martial arts, patterned on the reign of sand fighting styles of elsewhere. I pursue hand-to-hand -hand and unarmored de self-defense, because what you don't have, you cannot lose. I also train with the blunt weapons called staves, because even the poorest peasant can own a staff. To earn my keep, I train others in my skills. Hmm. And some lore? The Dunmer are a serious people and very serious about their gods in the temple. You won't find beggars in Morrowind. The temple takes care of the poor. The temple provides health and education for worshippers and stresses family duty. And duties? I cannot give you duties if you do not join the temple. I am Feldrelo Sadri, monk and master of the temple. Um... Join? You have a promising look. Perhaps we could use you. Do you wish to join, or shall you hear our doctrine first? Let's hear the doctrine. Your fourfold duty... Okay, your fourfold duties are to faith, family, masters, and all that is good. Perform holy quests and bring luster to the temple. Never transgress against your brothers or sisters in thought or deed, as we are all one body. If you somehow fail to uphold these ideas, deals, you must speak with a master or the patriarch to be cleansed of your wrongdoings. Still want to join? Yes, I'm worthy. You are now a layman in the temple. Welcome, Brother Elzarian. I am one of several masters you can go to to get your duties, and if you perform well, advancement in the temple is not out of the question. Nice. We'll do a little temple stuff. Uh, duties? Before I give you any other duties, you should prove your faith by making the pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. Oh boy, Seven Graces? Take this book, The Pilgrim's Path. It describes where the pilgrimage sites are. After you've completed these pilgrimages, speak with me again. I should warn you that while most of these are easy, the pilgrimages of Ghostgate and the Ruddy Man are more difficult. You may wish to do those last. Hmm. You have been given a copy of The Pilgrim's Path. Simply follow the directions in that book to each shrine. When you visit all these shrines, speak with me again. Okay, in training. What's your rank, Elzarian? No, sorry. Later, perhaps, when you're higher rank, but not now. And she likes me a lot more. Okay. So, I joined the temple, because why not? I'm a holy kind of pilgrim. Here we have the doors of the spirit. Let's read this. See what the temple is uh, preaching out there. The ancestors are among us. They are never farther away than the waiting door. The ancestors are not departed. The dead are not under the earth. Their spirits are in the restless wind, in the fire's voice, in the foot-smoothed step. 
Pay heed to these things, and you will know your absent kin. Hmm. Pay reverence through gift and prayer. Acquaint the ancestors with your affairs, with your comings and goings, with your blessings and trials. From the waiting door comes your protection. Heed the spirits, who are the guardians of your hearth, teachers of wisdom, counselors of fortune, seers of fate. Each bone is a door through the wall of the world. Each bone is the road, with wisdom and power the travelers. Each bone is the ghost fence that guards us from evil. Honor the ancestors upon your hearths, within your halls, in the community of your temples, in the solitude of your tombs. Guard your ancestors from beasts, from thieves, from profane priests and sorcerers. Let no creature steal your spirits, for the plundered hearth is diminished and the plundered tomb is shamed. Live in one world with your spirits. Honor the spirits within and without you. Do not grieve for the dead. Take shelter in their arms and pay heed to their words. That is really freaking cool for like a video game lore. That's just funny and cool. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. All right, here we go, guys. Hello, Alzerian. I'm Telus Savani, and this is Balmora. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? You know something about the Great Houses? The Red Party of Redoran preserves the ancient martial traditions of our ancestors and deserves our thankful respect. So the temple is pro redoran I am Telus Salvani, healer and novice of the temple. Spells? Oh, restore, huh? Absorb fatigue. That's really cool. Costs 75 mysticism. Cure common disease. I don't know if we have that. Cure paralyzation. Restore fatigue. Let me go ahead and check some of these because we have to start doing a bit more with our uh, spell list here. I mean, we can literally just go like this and push that up and pull this down we have a spell of absorb marksman hmm. right I thought that was a good idea Om um, CV drain health restore health we do have swift swim buoyancy okay fortify personality 10 charisma we have command humanoid demoralize creature Detect enchantment at 10 feet. Ah! Divine intervention. Blind. Wild sty. Sanctuary. Fortify mercantile. Oh. Well, our power close is better. Disintegrate armor. That's cool. Only 28% chance to cast it. Frostbite. Gift of Gab. Give me skill short blade. I haven't been using that. Oh, I have a zero chance. Goner's Eye Maze, Chameleon. Uh, heal Companion I picked up. Hearth Heal. 100% chance to cast those now. Hide. Invisibility. Invisibility Practice Spell. That has a 48% chance, so... Jogvare's Extended Arm, Telekinesis. Lesser Summon Clan Fair, 37%. That's not bad. Levitate, Light... Mark, Night Eye, on Deucey's Open Door, Paralysis for 5 seconds, Fortified Mercantile, Recall, There's Cure, Common Disease, Realms Cure, Sanctuary Practice, Calm Creature, Silence for 5 seconds, wait, we had another Silence for 5 seconds, didn't we? No, we had a Paralysis for 5 seconds, I think. Calm Creature. Um, levitate, slow levitate. We have a lot of spells, guys. Sotha's Mirror, Reflect, Soul Trap, Spell Absorption, Steel Eater, Disintegrate Weapon, 47% chance to cast it. There's Telekinesis. What is Extended Arm? That's for 20 seconds, 20 feet, whereas Telekinesis is for 25 feet for 5 seconds. Good to know that we have a longer... Uh, duration one. Turn undead, juiced off feather, Vivix wrath, water breathing, water walking, weakness to normal weapons, 
and wild open. Oh, I keep forgetting about wild open. We could have opened some stuff along the way with wild open. Now in terms of the magical items we have, some of these are overlapping with the skills. So I'm actually going to clean the inventory out of a bunch of these like you know, they may still come in handy in a pinch, like say we're out of Magicka and we need to cast something. But I think we're getting to the point where like if I need to levitate, I can just cast a spell. I don't know. We'll think about that actually. Oh, there's... Oh, that's an Eye of the Storm Scroll. I could have sworn that was given to us for a reason, unless I just stole it or something. We have very useful uh, spell items. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Uh, so I should be able to see better what we could use here. Absorb fatigue, we don't have that, but that's a big swinger spell and I uh, can't cast it. Do I have cure paralyzation? I didn't notice or restore fatigue. I don't remember seeing them. Let me go through them like this. Starting at Fortify Mercantile. Oh, I guess I can search though, can I? I thought there was a search button here. I don't think I have a cure paralyzation. And I don't have a basic restore fatigue, do I? It is kind of tough to figure out, like, what you have and what you don't. We have so many, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh man, okay, well we don't have either of those. We don't have Cure Paralyzation, and we don't have Restore Fatigue. That's a very useful spell. Don't know what Restore these would be unless someone specifically drains these on us. Velos Grace, Resist Blight Disease, Cure Blight Disease, 611, Cast Cost 100, Vivix Tears, um... I think resist might be good for now. For 10 seconds, huh? The border. We sell some basic potions and stuff. Let's see. Water walking. Wait, I think I might have taken that from here, didn't I? Yeah. Gotta be careful. Quality Potion of Invisibility. Cyrodelic Brandy. I will buy some Cyrodelic Brandy. I have two bottles for you. And, um... I guess that's about it. I'll take all your Calm Berry. Anything else that restores uh, Magicka. Yeah, but it took a bunch of this stuff from here. <laughs> There's the Pilgrim's Path. Okay, total sold 143. Let's make it... 178. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Homilies of Blessed. All kind of prayer books. That we still can't take. Oh, unarmored. 36 Lessons of Vivek Sermon 34. Then Vivek left the Ministry of Truth and went back to the space that was not a space. From the Provisional House, he looked into the Middle World to find the eighth and final and mightiest monster called Gulgamor Jill and more. The wise must look elsewhere for this string of power. Vivek called to his side the Hortator and this was the first time that Nerevar had ever been to the Provisional House. He had the same vision that Vivek had so many years ago, that of the two-headed ruling king. 
Who is that, he wondered. Vivek said, the red jewel of conquest. Nerevar, perhaps because he was frightened, became vexed at his lord's answer. Why are you always so evasive? Vivek told the horse hater that to be otherwise was to betray his nature. Together they moved into the middle world to a village near where Vivek had been found by Am and Set. The eighth, mo the eighth monster was there, but he did not act much like a monster. He sat with his legs in the ocean and with a troubled look on his face. When he saw his mother father, he asked why he should have to die and return to oblivion. Vivek told the eighth monster that to be otherwise was to betray his nature. Since this did not seem to satisfy the monster and Vivek still had a touch of Am's mercy, he said, The fire is mine, let it consume thee, and make a secret door. At the altar of Padome, in the house of Boet, Boet he ah, where we become safe and looked after. The monster accepted Muatra with a peaceful look, and his bones became the foundation for the city of the dead, and on Narsus. Nerevar put away his axe, which he had at the ready, and frowned. Why, he said, did you ask me to come if you knew the eighth monster would give in so easily? Vivek looked at the Hortator for a long time. Nerevar understood. Do not betray your nature. Answer as you will. Vivek said, I brought you here because I knew the mightiest of my issue would succumb to Muatra without argument, if only I gave him consolation first. Nerevar looked at Vivek for a long time. Vivek understood. Say the words, Hortator. Nerevar said, Now I am the mightiest of your children. Let this sermon be consolation to those who read it that they are that are destined to die. The ending of the words is on CV. <laughs> those are so cool. Oh, another one. Gain spear skill. 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 14. Uh, Vivek lay with Malag Ball for 80 days and ate, though headless. In that time, the prince placed the warrior poet's feet back and filled them with the blood of Daedra. In this way, Vivek's giant form remained forever harmless to good earth. The pomegranate banquet brought many spirits back from the dead so that the sons and daughters of the Union had much to eat besides fruit. Oh boy. The Duke of Scamps came while the banquet was still underway and Malag Ball looked on the seven penance with anger. The King of Mur had become necessary and therefore troubled for the rest of time. His legions and Ko'udas fell into open war, but the children of Malang Ball and Vivek were too elaborate in power and form. The Duke of Scamps, therefore, became a lesser thing, as did all his own children. Malang Ball said to them, You are the sons of liars, dogs, and wolf-headed women. They have been useless to summon ever since. The Holy One returned at last, Vek, golden with wisdom. His head found its body had been tenderly used. He mentioned this to Malang Ball, who told him that he should thank the barons of move like this. For I have yet to learn how to refine my rapture. My love is accidentally shaped like a spear. So Vivek, who had a grain of Am's mercy, set about to teach Malagbal in the ways of belly magic. They took their spears out and compared them. Oh my gosh. Vivek bit new words into the king so that it might give more than ruin to the uninitiated. This has since become a forbidden ritual, though people still practice it in secret. Here is why. The Velothian demons and monsters that were watching all took out their own spears. There was much biting and the earth became... Uh, and this was the last laugh of Malag Ball. Watch as the earth shall crack, heavy with so much power that should have been forever unalike. Then the stretch of badlands that had been at the site of the marriage fragmented and threw fire, and a race that is no more but that was terrible at the time to behold came forth. Born of the biters, that is all they did, and they ran amok across the lands of Veloth and even to the shores of Red Mountain. But Vivek made his of his spear a more terrible thing from a secret he had bitten off from the king of... And now he sent Malag Ball tumbling into the crack of the biters and swore forever that he would not deem the king beautiful ever again. <laughs> Vivek wept as he slew all those around him with his terrible new spear. He named it Muatra, which is milk taker, and even the Chimeri the Chimer mystics knew his fury. Anyone struck by Vivek at this time turned barren and withered into bone shapes. The path of bones became a sentence for the stars to read, and the heavens have never known children since. Vivek hunted down the biters one by one and all their progeny, and he killed them all by means of the nine apertures, and the wise still hide theirs from Muatra. The ending of the words is on CV. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Doors of the Spirit. This is fun stuff, man. How can you not absolutely adore Morrowind? I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, is this a... Is this the altar? 
No. This is the altar. We probably have to visit this in the Pilgrim's Path, so we might as well bust out that book and check. Journal's been updated. Okay. Um, we can just look at these. Ghost Fence, the Shrine of Pride, Kowal Cave, the Mask of Vivek, Shrine of Justice. That one is in... Mask is not here. The Puzzle Canal, the Palace... On the top steps of Vivek's palace, the Shrine of Daring, in the city of Vivek in the Temple District. Okay, so this is not actually, this tribunal thing is not actually a place to visit. But we'll make a donation regardless. Donation of five and receive a blessing. Um, Vivek's mystery. <laughs> And Vivek's mystery gives us luck 10 points. Wow, 10 points of luck. That is crazy. We have 75% resist disease. Robe of Plague be gone, 50%. Cool. All right, so let's head out of here. I'm going to do the... Oh, man, I really should save after all that reading and stuff. We're 21 minutes in. Be right back. And the ending of the words is on CV. Boom. Boy. We back. And everything is all good because we saved that first portion, so we cannot lose that content now. Had I played, say, 40 minutes, and then at the end it very much collapses on me, it would erase all that 40 minutes of progress, so I have to do it this way for now. I'm not really super confident in doing a full uh, full episode like normal because even though I think I may have fixed the issue I haven't done extensive testing to that yet here we are in beautiful Balmora now guys it's time to go check the Nerano Manor for which we have a key and that I have not done yet in any sort of footage so this will be new for us I haven't done that temple either. That's all new to me. I think this here is Nerano Manor. And this is exactly where the game would collapse on me. So far, so good, though. Oh, this is Halalo Manor. We don't have a key for the Halalo. Oh, and I can't get back out. There we go. Oh, nice landing. Is this Nerano Manor? It is. So we can't be seen going in, I would imagine. Could be dangerous. <clears throat> we'll sneak about in here. Oh my goodness. Block level 10. Bloat and a large Kwama egg. Sure. The House of Troubles. This is pretty cool, I think. Among the ancient ancestral spirits who accompanied St. Veloth and the Chimer into the Promised Land of Morrowind, the four Daedra Lords, Malakath, Maroon's Dagon, Molag Ball, and Sheogravath are known as the Four Corners of the House of Troubles. That's the Four Corners, okay. These Daedra Lords rebelled against the Council and admonition of the tribunal causing great kin strife and confusion among the clans and great houses. Malakath, Merun's Dagon, Malag Ball, and Sheogarath are holy in that they serve the role of obstacles during the testing. Through time, they have sometimes become associated with local enemies like the Nords, Akaviri, or Mountain Orcs. Malakath is the reanimated dung that was Trinimac. Malakath is weak but vengeful god. The Dark Elves say he is Malak, the god king of the Orcs. He tests the Dunmer for physical weakness. Malak Ball is, in Morrowind, the king of something. He tries to upset the bloodlines of houses and otherwise ruin the Dunmer gene pool. A race of monsters said to live in Malag Amur are the result of his seduction of Vivek during the previous era. We've read about the hat a little bit. Sheogarath is the king of madness. He always tests the Dunmer for mental weakness. In many legends, he is called upon by one Dunmer faction against another. 
In half of these stories, he does not betray those who called him, further confusing the issue of his place in the scheme of things. Can he help us? Is he not an obstacle? He is often associated with the fear other races have of the Dunmer, especially those who, like the Empire, might prove as useful allies. Merun's Dagon is the god of destruction. He is associated with natural dangers like fire, earthquakes, and floods. To some, he represents the inhospitable land of Morrowind. He tests the Dunmer will to survive and persevere. The worship of these four malevolent spirits is against the law and practice of the temple. However, the Four Corners seldom failed to discover those greedy, reckless, or mad enough to serve them. By ancient temple law and custom, and also by imperial law, the lives of witches and warlocks are forfeit, and the imperial garrisons join ordinary ordinators and buoyant armagers of the temple in tracking down and destroying these foul covens in the wilderness, refuges, and ancient ruins where they conceal their profane worship. That's probably all the re reading I'm going to do right now. I'm just looking for... Skill books. Hmm. No skill books. Books are worth money, though. Let's grab, like, the True Noble's Code. The Cantatas of Vivek. We'll sell these to the local bookstore. As, um, little trophies. Stuff we may come back yet to read. Soriani's sermons, Eastern provinces. Yeah, we'll take that, and we'll take Soriani's sermons. Those look fun. <laughs> and the annotated a new one. Why not? Keep sneaking on through. I mean, we can actually carry this stuff, which is beautiful. We have some good carry potential. Make a nice uh, drop off at the bookstore that we frequent here. Oh my goodness, there's someone here. There goes my thieving. Look at all this stuff though. But oh, there's someone here. Friend, foe, indifferent. Oh, there's so much stuff. I'm just Do I know you. A visitor and an outlander too. What brings you to Narano Manor? Narano Manor? Yes, this is Narano Manor. Can I do something for you? Why are you here anyway? You're Andres. Yeah, I'm Andres Narano. What do you want? Silver Trandall? Yes, he works for me. Does odd jobs when he's not too lazy. Hmm, I see. Thanks for your time. I'm not going to give him away. Of course, he's quite unremarkable. He lacks ambition. What is your trade? I am Andres Narano, merchant and hireling of the Great House of Lalu. Monotong? In Balmora, the Kamonatong hangs out over at the corner club called the Council Club. Watch yourself if you go in there. They're not very nice people. Gang war? It was inevitable. The local criminal organization, the Kamonatong, wasn't going to stand by and let the Thieves Guild set up shop in their territory. It's bloody, and the Thieves Guild doesn't stand a chance. Your trade? I'm a merchant. I look for goods that are well made, people that want to buy or that people want to buy, that I can buy and sell at a profit. There are many different kinds of materials I can buy and sell. Animal products, vegetable products, mineral products, and even exotic products. Crafts and manufactured goods I deal in include weapons, armor, clothing, books, potions, enchanted items, and various housewares. I travel, talk with people I meet, buy what I like, and sell what people like. Little lore? Native Dunmer and Imperials alike know a noble has to answer a challenge of honor, only nobles fight duels, and the higher the rank, the stronger the obligation. Rumors? House Alalu would much rather have the Caldera Charter, thank you very much, and run those ebony mines ourselves. But it hasn't worked out so badly. The Imperial Caldera Mining Company is laying out the cash and doing the work, and we're taking the cream off the top in graft and bribes. No wonder Rhetoran is angry, and when they're angry, they're dangerous. Hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm in your manor, bro, but... Ooh. Grief? Thought that was Cyrodiil Brandy. Okay, I'll just continue on back upstairs. Pretend like you never saw me, Andres. He's a, quite the eccentric. I 
No, a bossy wants the key. We have here locked door level 25. Um. It's gonna be a tough one. There we go. Ah, ooh and ah. Black level 20. Come on. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Jackpot. We'll donate them to the local. So there's silver spark axe. Its weight is almost 20 pounds though. Pretty cool find, though. Hackalo. Ooh, might as well keep that out. Oh my goodness. It's, wow. He's got exquisite stuff. Wow, 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 wow. Now we have this. We'll do on Deuces. We don't have a way to D. Uh, D trap it though. Unless I just go the old probe route, which is seven. Yep. Wow, first try. There's a lock chest. 50 gold. Lovely. Success? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Cyrodiil of Brandy. You have to leave something behind though. Oh my gosh. It's not too hard to choose, like, let's pick the extravagant rope pretty much. Seems like the no-brainer. under his pillows this rich man wow this is awesome whoa hit my head I'm tall okay very cool well we hit it before Habasi could but we won't say that we won't say anything let's continue sneaking Nice score, nice score. All right, so that's Narano Manor. We succeeded and the episode is going okay. Surprisingly, we are... doing okay. Oh wait, did that use the key up? No, this isn't like a game like that. In the rain. Alright, let's go to Hibasi, give her the key. And I think that will finally set us off towards Caldera, guys. If my laptop doesn't explode. Which is a very real possibility that you'll never even hear these words. And I'm speaking them into the void. Oh my gosh, all these people. You've got the better. I should have went a different route. Cross your fingers, guys. Use yeah. mentally think of me and my laptop and process goodwill towards me. Oh, I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. To Goth Ur calls you Elzerian, and if you cannot deny your lord, the sixth house is risen, and the Goth is its glory. The Goth Ur, he is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Enwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Degoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. Sixth house? The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Degoth, the house of Lord Degoth. The true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Inwa from our land. Take heed, Outlander, the day of reckoning is at hand. 
Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, there will be no place for you. It is rumors? The Halalu and Telvani have been fighting over Odor Niren for years. Hey. Leave us away. I'll stay Oh boy. All the types you meet in big cities, am I right, guys? Am I right? We've been pickpocketed in old Devon Hart. Oh. We've been accosted a few times here. First time by a sleeper. I just want to get to the corner club in one piece. It seems like I have maybe, in fact, fixed my laptop because it is not exploded yet. Maybe uninstalling some updates has done it. I would be very happy hey. if so. Hell. Yes. Hello. Abase. Abase. Warm day to you. And to you as well, Sugar Lips. Did you get that Nerano Manor key for Habasi? Um, I did. Yes, you have the key. Yes, here it is. Yes, Habasi likes this key very much. Habasi pays you well for this key. 500 gold. Nerano Manor. Habasi has the key. You know this. Why ask Habasi more about the key? Jobs. Razid, no good friend of Habasi, stole Dweemer artifacts from the guild. Dweemer artifacts? Go to Fat Legs drop off in Hala Oad. If Razid won't give you the Dweemer artifacts, find them and return them to Habasi. You must bring Habasi a dwarven goblet, a dwarven bowl, and a Dweemer tube. Okay, can I, um, let's go. Yes, wet ear, what do you want to know? Requirements? Thieves must be fast and agile. Being able to move undetected and a knowledge of security are essential to our trade. Most thieves prefer light arms, such as daggers, though many use bows or throwing stars. Thieves usually prefer light armor as well, since it gives some protection, but you can still jump while wearing it. Advancement? No one questions your skills as a thief, but some question your loyalty. You should do more jobs for your brother thieves. Okay, fair enough. You don't train yet? No. Sugar Lips Abasi can serve higher ranks only, Sarah. Sorry, but Sugar Lips Abasi must follow the rules. Indeed, fair enough. Go ahead. You're dressed interestingly, sir. Join the Thieves Guild? Talk to Sugar Lips. I'm Sagiri Sino, an Imperial Rogue. Well, you're dressed fantastically. Yes, truly. Erethor? <laughs> that was awesome. Training. Uh, okay, we'll point of sneak. Maybe we can barter with Chica down here. Satildi? Well met. Well met, Satildi. It's no trouble at all, Zarian. I'm always happy to help. Let's see. You've got... quite the stuff. How'd you get that six-house sickle? Broad sword of a natural essence. Iron throwing knives. It's pretty cool. Expensive skirt. All right, well, you have 250 gold, so I won't give you too much, but how about two bottles of Cyrodiil brandy and five Hakalo? Oh, that's more than you can afford. Two Hakalo. And you give me 230. Perfect make a few trips running around selling stuff. Maybe the publican can help. Hello, Bacola. I see I stand in good company. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? Let's see. You have 500 gold. So we should power clothes. Living on the edge of time. Power clothes. What's yours is mine. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> Go no grow wine. Is that some Hakolo? We give him more Hakolo, we give him Sierra Dilla Brandy. 
We give him restore strength. I forgot about this stuff. We're at 277. Give him extravagant. Oh, he doesn't buy it. See if he buys books. Uh, Redware can't now. Bowls? Nope. Candles? Nope. All right, 277. I'll take an even. An even 313. Perfect. We are getting rich. Um, how long have we played, guys? 20 minutes. I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Feel free to subscribe if you're new here. No pressure, though. You don't have to do those things. But if you can, it would greatly help my channel. Be well, live well, stay well, guys. Much love, peace, and joy. And tune in next time. Much more to come. We're going to head to Caldera, I promise. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.